Hey guys, very good afternoon to all of you. My name is Ajay and in this video today uh, we are going to talk about uh, so what if you want to find the how many field names you have in the access table and uh, what if you have a situation where you want to actually uh, go and find it out the last row of your uh, table right so we are going to talk about this axis uh, you know VBA we are going to make a code in the axis and uh, so uh, if you are watching the channel for the first time then guys we have all these 410 videos on uh, you know MS Axel uh, Excel VBA MS Axis and Axis VBA so basically four parts we have you know we have been covering from the last two years and what you can do is you can find out all the playlist on my channel just go to this uh, on the front page go to this playlist right and you get to see here all the different different basically the and the titles um, as you can see here this is the excel this is all about the excel this is all about the access vba this is all about again the access vba this is all about the excel vba so any any title which says excel vba that means it is going to be excel vba any title which is access vba that means it is going to talk about the access vba any title which says only access like in this case that is the front end of the access and same for the excel right so now this is going to be our introduction video because a lot of you have requested me that we should have some more videos on the access vba so now i'm going to start with this access database which is, which is in front of you and here i have stored some information now what i actually want to do is i want to tell you that how basically you can make a code which can tell you that how many basically the field uh, values the field uh, names you have now in access this is called the field name look id is my field name this is another name is another field name and this author is actually the another uh, the field name and these are all called basically the uh, record this is my first record this is my second record and this is my record and this is my you know fourth record and so on right and individually we call them uh, field values so this is the first field value this this is the second field value and this is the third field value so i want to see that how many total in total the records i have which you can see here uh, it's actually eight so i have total eight rows and at the same time how many field names we have this is the one and this is going to be the you know two and this is going to be the three so how to basically figure it out in the access vba so let's go ahead and make the code uh, i go here and uh, in the database tool i click on the visual basic and here in this module we're going to write the program by the way uh, if you want to start the access vba then just go ahead and check out the access vba introduction series here like we have the access vba introduction series similarly when you scroll it you know somewhere here you would get to see that access vba introduction tutorials as well as you can see here right Right now we have uploaded the two videos these are the video numbers 360 and 62 right so this is another video which i'm going to talk which i'm going to upload in this series because this is uh, these are the basics which you should know because uh, you never know when you write any program you want to you know actually use these kind of things so let's go to the visual basic and let's start with this process so the first thing we uh, write when when i start the program i'm going to write here uh, let's say count fields this is what I need to write. Now, first thing, guys, which you should keep always in your mind is that you're talking about this particular access database, right, which is the name of this database is DB, right? So, first of all, I will just declare this as DIM, uh, you know, or maybe I can write a DB or anything you want to write as uh, DO database. This is what I want to write. And then I will declare these lines as set DB equals to current DB. This is how we declare the database, right? So now the DB object is created and it is going to be considered as this database. I talked about this in my previous those two videos. If you go and check that out, right? Now, what is the next thing I want to do? after this you declare the database obviously we would like to talk about the table which table you know we need to find or uh, find it out we, uh, which table we actually are referring to so that's why i'm going to declare here as maybe uh, my uh, my record set i just declared it as my underscore rs as do dot record set right now do is basically your data access object library which is always by default you know available in your access 2000 and 2013 and 16 i think it's available in the uh, your uh, you know access 2011 uh, 2007 as well there's another technology which is called ado active x data object you know that's altogether a different technology do is a different so in order we, in this video we are only going to talk about the data access object library okay which is your do right so you don't have to basically do anything right these are the libraries which by default you always get to see here and that's more than sufficient for us 16.0 is available because i'm using the access 2016 so is a, a, a direct you know by default library 
are working in these versions so don't have to do anything now the next thing is that uh, now when i talk about the recipe i mean that you know a information a piece of information it could be your table it could be your query coming out from your table right so information is information now how you're going to define it you're going to open that table so i write here open my this recipe and then recipe means again uh, as i'm saying that that piece of information so here you will write you are basically the name of your table which is called the bookstore okay so now my record set is going to be considered as this entire attribute table guys this is how you write you know in the access vb this is how you deal with your basically the access tables now once you have that information what is the next thing you would like to do uh, the next thing is a very simple if i want to see how many field names i have then i can just write here message box and i can write here uh, my record set which is my this table the information how many basically fields i have you just write here fields and dot count okay now when, when you're going to run this thing this is how it's going to run invalid user property so what happened uh what's wrong with this okay so record it and uh my underscore is i have to see what, what's the problem what, what is the problem here let me run this again invalid use of property so all right i'm so sorry actually i forgot to declare the set word right because this is your object so you're gonna write here set that's it okay let's run this there we go so finally we ran the code right because it's a basically object so you have to define it as set so the moment you run this it should give me three and there we go so we got the three field names right if you delete anything here if, if i just go and delete any field you know trust me you're gonna have that the change you you will find that change there so that's how you can find out the fields guys now what about the total number of the records if you have so in, in in order to do that what you can do is you can find out this um, you know uh, this the record set so there is another actual thing which you can use the uh, the total number of record count this is the property now when i run this uh, so what happens let me run this and i'll show you so basically this comes as 3 and this is going to come as 14 right now if you look at this 14 is not the correct answer okay because your you have total number of eight records so not sure how it is actually calculating it so what you can do is uh, before you basically uh, have this message box always ensure that you should be on the last record so i'm going to write here move last so it will go in the last and for a moment let me just Put the comment on this so that we shouldn't be able to see that so when you run this again you have the same problem so i'll tell you this is a problem which basically many access you know uh, users they face so uh, so what you actually want to do is in order to uh, work on this kind of a functionality properly uh, when you write your bookstore here in this record set when you declare it when you press comma it asks you for the type of the cursor which you actually you know or what kind of a cursor you need to write here so guys here or when, when i just write here uh, db uh, open dynamic then you know this is how it when i write db just type in db uh, you see these are all the things db open dynamic db open data set db open forward only D, db open snapshot right now these are the cursors which are very useful when you're actually working uh, uh, working uh, uh, in, a, in an environment where a lot of users are actually accessing your access database so suppose you have a main database on the server and uh, me and you are on our desktop you know and we are trying to retrieve some information so there if i add some information and if you're already you know working on that information so how actually the access is going to react to that suppose if i'm I, I, i'm using this table i'm trying to update some information here at the same time you're also trying to retrieve the information from here so what should happen because if i'm going to edit my information obviously uh, will access you know access is going to allow the other user to see those changes or the access is gonna wait first for me when i when i'm through with my changes and when i close the database then those actually changes you know the other user is going to see so basically these are all the cursors we'll not go into that but right now i just you know i, I i'm going to use basically your this uh, you know, the uh, the db open snapshot this is going to open as a snapshot and what happens this is going to basically uh, work uh, for me as a you know as a kind of a locked uh, the table right so now if i just use on this open snapshot which is going to open as a snapshot right uh, then what will happen when i run this line again you get to see here the correct results right now you get to see here eight because so what you can do is you can also go ahead and uh, on, 
on the Microsoft, you know, uh, the website, you can check out all these cursors, why basically they are used because it's a long chapter. Maybe we will discuss it in some another video, right? Open snapshot, you use it. And this is how guys, you can actually check the total number of the records. So total number of the records, I mean, again, these are the rows, right? This is the first row. This is the second. This is the third. This is the fourth. So overall, we have the eight records. So anytime you want to do that, you can do that. And same for the field names. These are the basically the field names, like, you know, you have the columns, right? So these are very must things. You should know that. And uh, in the coming sessions, uh, on, on the access VBA, um, we'll try to include these topics as well in my couple of case studies and the projects. That's it for now, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this very uh, small session. And um, this is uh, uh, special because it is all about the access VBA. So I'll come back with some another stuff very soon on the access VBA. Please do subscribe to the channel and stay fit and stay happy. Thank you so much, guys, for watching.